Uh, there's alcohol in this. I haven't yet learned that you can't go on Facebook and expect sanity. So, before I continue, I want to show you this. Now, you probably won't be able to make any of this out, however, covering my name. But, it's a Hunter Education card. This one's temporary. When I have the permanent one around somewhere, that'll, that itself would have also expired by now. However, the point of me showing you that is I'm not anti-gun. I've handled a firearm. I have a healthy respect for it. Granted, I don't think people should own, like, AK-47s, assault rifles, or anything like that. But the general hunting firearm, even down to handguns, as long as you have the proper training, I actually have no problem with it. Now, I understand Canada has restricted gun laws about handguns, but that's another topic. <sighs> so my friends on Facebook, one in particular, funnily enough, it's the same one as before. You know, the one with the... Yeah, no, I'll link that video here. <sighs> he posted this image. So obviously, he feels a little differently about this entire gun control issue than I do. Here's the problem. Show me where Hitler actually said that. Now, anywhere from like even late 1800s through to present day, if anyone of any political significance has said something's typically been recorded somewhere, somehow. Movable type, anybody? Printing press? Hello? Near as I can tell, nobody's found him saying that. In fact, if you actually look as far as Germany is concerned, he actually loosened gun control. Apparently the previous power, or the previous government, actually put in gun control in a obviously failed attempt to prevent Hitler from gaining power. In fact, it actually allowed him to fuel the flames in order to get him into power. Uh, links below. I realize they're not necessarily, you know, scholastic links, but they'll do for just a brief internet search and for a rant video. So, what did Hitler actually do for gun control as part for Germans? He actually lowered the age you could own a fire, acquire a firearm from 20 to 18. He didn't have to have the proper training, I can understand that. Um, you had to show that you weren't really loose in the head. And of course, he couldn't be Jewish, but I figured that's just what I was saying. Because actually, according to Hitler, Jews weren't citizens. But if you were a citizen, yeah. Okay, you can own firearms. Apparently, when the Allies went into Germany, they were amazed at how many firearms they actually found in German homes. Now, let's go to Austria. Austria is a strange situation, because there they actually did start to take guns. And they actually linked another article. I'll link that below, too, so you can read that. It's a woman reciting her, uh, her memories of that time, living in Austria. So... Hitler comes in, promises the Austrian people prosperity, like in Germany, etc., etc. And eventually, they end up registering the firearms and then taking them away. Problem. That's a foreign government coming in, promising another country people, another peoples, not the, the citizens of another country, i.e. not Germans, power, and then taking away all the resources produced by the German people. Now, when that starts happening in the U.S., Canada, U.K., etc., then you can use that fucking image, okay? <sighs> You'd almost think these people are birthers or something, you know, Obama being from Kenya. Do you suppose? Yeah, they're not that stupid, are they? 